Hello, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Today I'll be talking about diabetes mellitus. My name is Anthony Okereke. My team members are Sujan Shoy, John Hardy, Kerry Mai, Sarah Mikali, Erica Thompson. They will be talking about the other parts of uh, diabetes mellitus too. For me, I will be presenting the introduction and background of diabetes mellitus. Okay, starting now, diabetes. Uh, uh, diabetes mellitus is a chronic metabolic disease characterized by the body's inability to maintain a hemostatic blood glucose concentration as a result of uh, defects in insulin secretion, insulin action of both. Types of uh, diabetes mellitus, type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and the third is gestational diabetes. Okay. For diabetes mellitus 1, is characterized by early age onset. It was once known as juvenile diabetes, but presently is referred to as insulin dependent diabetes. The lack, this in, uh, diabetes results from lack of insulin production, which is associated, only associated with uh, autoimmune mediated uh, destruction of the insulin secreting better cells of the pancreas. For type 2 diabetes, is an adult onset diabetes. This occurs due to the target cells' inability to recognize or effectively utilize insulin pres pres uh, present in the body. In this case, insulin resistance as a result of a change in muscle or fast cells normally alters uh, the tissue's inability to uh, uptake uh, glucose. As for gestational diabetes, it occurs in pregnant women as a result of uh, intolerance to glucose, culminating from hormonal changes as a result of their condition. In some individuals, uh, this diabetes resolves after birth, but in some, it can lead to a lifetime of uh, diabetes, which is normally diabetes uh, 2. Risk factors for developing diabetes. Family history of diabetes, specifically biological relatives, ethnic, ethnicity, such as African Americans, American Indians, Latin Americans, uh, at most risks. Abdominal obesity or waist circumference of 40 inches and 102 centimeter for men and uh, 35 inches and 88 centimeter for women. Blood pressure of 130 to 80. If it is greater than this specific number, the person is at risk. Next part is about the cell and molecular biology of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes develops because there is little or no insulin enters the bloodstream from the pancreas. So insulin cannot cause cells in the liver, muscle, and fat tissue to take up glucose from the blood to store it as glycogen. On the other hand, in type 2 diabetes, the pancreas produces sufficient insulin, but it is resistant to effective use, so glucose is unable to enter the blood effectively. Insulin is the major hormone in glucose metabolism, but in molecular level, insulin cannot work by itself. As you can see in this picture, insulin causes glucose transport molecules such as GLUT4 to be inserted into muscle and adipose tissue cells. Then glucose is taken up into those tissues, lowering the blood glucose concentration. Also, there are other proteins that involve glucose metabolism. For example, GLP-1, glucagon-like peptide 1, is a hormone that is secreted from the intestine. It not only induces insulin secretion, but also suppresses glucagon secretion. But once in the circulation, GLP-1 has a very short half-life of less than 2 minutes due to rapid degradation by the enzyme DPP-4, dipeptidyl peptidase 4. Therefore, both GLP-1 analog and DPP-4 inhibitors can be good oral hypoglycemic agents. 
And this table summarizes important proteins that involve glucose metabolism, including many hormones, enzymes, and glucose transporters. On the hormone, C. amylin. It is co-secreted with insulin from the pancreas beta cells in response to meal and works synergistically with insulin. Besides four glucose transporters in this table, lots of glucose transporters have been found. They may affect on insulin sensitivity directly or indirectly. Some of them are insulin dependent such as GLUT4 and some of them are electrolyte dependent such as SGLT1 and SGLT2. Those glucose transporters are found in different types of tissues in our body. There are six classes of drugs that target type 2 diabetes. Sulfonylurea, it's a hypoglycemic agent that stimulates the insulin production from the pancreas to lower the blood glucose levels. The, exam the, the drugs that are in this class is glipizide, gliburide, and glimeride. <coughs> the second class is by, by guanides. The act the mechanism of action of this class of drugs is to inhibit hepatic glucose, glucose neo, gluconeogenesis, therefore decrease GI glucose absorption and increase target cell sensitivity. The most common prescribed drug for this class is metformin. The third class is alpha-glucosidase inhibitors. The mechanism of action of this class of drug is to delay GI absorption with carbs and therefore slows down the rise of glucose in the blood, bloodstream. And these, this class of drugs is taken in the morning of each meal, and is often prescribed in conjunction with, in conjunction with other diabetes, diabetes medications. The example includes precos and glycide. The fourth class is, is thiazolidindions. It works by sensitizing muscle and fat cells to accept insulin more readily, therefore decrease hepatoglucose neogenesis, gluco, gluconeogenesis. And the examples of these drugs is Actos and Avendia. Meglitinides, they are taken before meal and they stimulate the pancreas to produce, to produce more insulin in relationship to how much glucose is in the blood. And the examples include prendin and Starlix. They can be used in combination with other medications for diabetes effective, effectiveness. The final class is DPP-4 inhibitors. They work by blocking enzymes, the, the peptidyl peptidase to lower blood glucose. Other classes of drugs used for treating diabetes include incretin mimetics, which is by ETA. The, the mechanism of action is to mimic the action of insulin secreted incretin hormones and helps in production of insulin and also slows down the rate of digestion. Antihyperglycemic synthetic analogs, which is simulin. It is a synthetic analog of pancreatic hormone amylin, slows down gastric emptying and suppresses glucagon and regulates appetite. It can cause severe hypoglycemia. Insulins used for type 1 diabetes include rapid, act rapid acting insulin, humalog, short acting, R humulin, intermediate acting, MPH, long acting lantus. Premixed Novolog, the caution. The drug we chose for um, type 2 diabetes is metformin. Metformin or glucophage, or glucophage is under the class of biguanides. Bi the mechanism of action of metformin is to work by inhibiting glucose production in the liver and increase insulin sensitivity. However, the exact uh, mechanism of action is still unknown, but it has recently been proposed that metformin inhibits gene expression of AMA 
activated protein kinase, and how how metformin inhibits glucose gluconeogenesis is in the liver is that AMPK decreases hepatic energetic state and therefore decreases glucose production in liver. And research have shown that hyperglycemic mice were fed were fed metformin, and they they were shown that they lack AMPKs in the liver. Blood glucose blood glucose in these mice were comparable to wild type mice. The side effects for metformin include nausea and vomiting, gas, diarrhea, headache, weaknesses. Indigestion, abnormal discomfort, and may cause lact lactic acidosis. Other cautions that、um, patients should take when taking metformin is lactation. Studies have shown that metformin can potentially pass on to breast milk, and patients should avoid lactation. It is considered a Category B medication. Metformin also prevents the optimal absorption of vitamin B12 and folic acid, and therefore, patients should watch out for their vitamin B12 and folic acid、um, level. To wrap up our presentation, there are three types of diabetes: type one, type two, and gestational. All drugs for treatment of di- type two diabetes include sulfonylurea, biguanides, thiazolid. Ladina dions, alpha glucosidase inhibitors, meglintonides, DPP4 inhibitors. Type one diabetic patients must inject insulin in in order to survive. Metformin is the most common drug used for treatment of type two diabetes.